In today's video, we're going to be looking at these three Minostin plugs. They all look almost exactly the same, but they do have different capabilities. So we are going to go ahead and get these set up in SmartThings. We're going to be installing some custom device handlers to make sure you get all of the capabilities out of these plugs. And then we're going to be testing them out right here. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And once again, in this video, we're just going to be taking a look at these Minostin smart plugs. And a smart plug is very important for your smart home. It's relatively inexpensive and it can control any device that plugs into the wall. If you're just getting started out with your smart home, getting a smart plug is a great place to start. And if you're building out your smart home, if you find that you have items that need to be plugged in, maybe getting a smart plug is the best way to do it. Also, you can take them and you can move them anywhere you want in your entire house. So you're not just locked in to say like a smart switch that's installed on one room. You can't take that out and move it to another room very easily. You just have to rewire everything and all that. But these you can just unplug, plug in, and you get all of that functionality moving around your house. And these are also a Z-Wave repeater. So once we plug this into a wall outlet, it's going to act as a Z-Wave repeater, which is going to be making our smart home better and stronger and faster. All right, so we basically have three different Minostin plugs here, and I really like how they package these up. Essentially, instructions are right on the side here, the you know quick start instructions. Um, the box is essentially the same size as the product. These are the full instructions here. And then as you can see in the box, it's basically the exact same size as the smart plug. And this is what the smart plugs are going to look like. So you got like a plastic cover on the back. Just pull that off and this is what they look like. So very small. They are Z-Wave Plus. They have a manual button on the side. Now these are only for indoor use. And let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it looks like here. So when you plug it in, you could easily plug something else in here. So we have three different types here. This is just an on off and we have another one here. This one is the plug in dimmer, uh, but you can see these look pretty much exactly the same. Let's see if we can plug two in at a time. So we're going to plug in the top one. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get two of these in on the same location. So you can put one on the top. If you put it on the bottom, you can still plug in something here. But since these are so much bigger around the actual plug, you're not going to be able to get two right next to one another without an extension cord or something else like that. Now our last one is an on-off switch and it's also a power meter. So it's going to let you know how much energy is flowing through the plug. All right, so now that we have these out of the box, we can go up to our computer and we're just going to install the custom device handlers in our SmartThings app. All right, so I'm going to leave this link in the video description. Um, this is the link on my website and I'll put the video right here um, when it's published. Um, but what we need to do is we need to install the custom SmartThings device handlers for each one of these plugs. That will give it the ability to do the power metering and also the dimming function here. Um, so let's look at these plugs real quick. So we're just going to go to more details first. All right, so you can see here, um, it's a new item. It's got free shipping and Prime, of course. Um, and that's pretty much what it looks like here. Uh, so it's just going to be a Z-Wave Plus device. This is the dimensions. So it's about two inches by two inches and one inch deep. It's got the power button on the side there for manual use. Um, the current price is about $23.99, but obviously this can change in the future. Um, and countries available. Looks like it's available in the United Kingdom and Canada as well as the United States. So if you wanted to buy it, just click on buy on Amazon. It's going to take you right over to Amazon, put it in your cart for you. All right, so this is just a little bit more $26.99. Looks identical. Um, it's basically the exact same size and everything. This is a little bit more expensive than the normal on and off one, but a little bit cheaper than the energy monitoring one. So right here, if you tap on this text right here, that's going to take you over to um, GitHub on this one here. 
And all we want to do is copy all of this code right here, and then we're going to put it into our smart things. So we're just going to tap on raw right here. And then all we have to do is tap um, control A on our keyboard, copy everything on the page from top to bottom. So you don't have to worry about missing anything at the top or the bottom. Then if we hit control C, that will copy it. So now it's copied. And now we need to go over to smart things. So where you would go is to account.smartthings.com slash login. And I'll leave this in the video description as well. Click on sign in with Samsung account. All right, now once you are signed in, we need to go to my device handlers at the top here. And then right here, we need to add these three new device handlers. So we're just gonna tap on the top right here where it says create new device handler. All right, now once you get to this page, you just want to go from code right here. And then we just want to paste in that code. So if we hit control V on our keyboard, that's going to paste everything that we copied. Click on create. Now you can see created smart device at the top and it's the mini smart plug right here. And we just need to tap save one more time just to be sure and then click on publish and then click for me. And now it's published. So now we just need to do the same thing for the other two. All right, now to add these items, all we need to do is plug it into the wall. And when you plug it in, you can see there is a flashing blue light on the left side. That means it's in discovery mode. Now, if that light is not flashing, you just need to press the button three times. And then in our SmartThings app, we just need to tap the plus sign. We're going to be adding a device and we can just search by brand. So we have Minostin right here. We're gonna to go to outlets, smart plug one channel. So we're gonna tap on that. And then we're gonna tap the start button and we're just gonna choose our room. So we're actually in the movie room right now. So we're just gonna choose that for now. And we're gonna tap next at the bottom. And now you can see actually we took too long. So this is no longer flashing. So we just have to tap this three times. And now it's flashing again. And it tells you this right in the SmartThings app, which is nice when devices are actually in SmartThings where they can easily be added. All right, so it has been added. Now you can see that it says not using high security. Um, just tap OK on that. There is no other way to add this device. Um, so we're just gonna name this. We're just gonna name this the on off because this is the on off one. I'm just gonna tap it to be one of my favorites as well. All right, so once we have added that one, we can tap on the done at the bottom. And now you can see our on off plug is right here. If we tap it, you can see it's on and the blue light is illuminated. Tap it again, it's off. Now that is super fast too, that's really quick. Tap, on, off. All right, it's also pretty quiet too. Um, that's another good thing. If we tap onto this, um, basically you just have the on off controls here and you do have some other settings under the settings here. And you have these settings because we installed those custom device handlers. So we have all of the options for this particular device. So we're just gonna keep it on when on. I think that's good. Um, you also have some other settings here as well, like auto turn off. If you didn't wanna leave something on, you may wanna set that to say three hours or something. So you turn on the lamp and then three hours later, if it's still on, it will turn it off automatically and power failure, your recovery, you can tap on that. So those are the settings for the on off plug. Now let's go ahead and add one of the other plugs. All right, so this is the power meter plug. So we're just going to plug it in. It's gonna automatically start flashing. Tap the plus sign in our app, tap add device, and then we're gonna tap just search for Minostin, and we're gonna be choosing an outlet and we're gonna be choosing the smart plug one channel. And I wasn't fast enough, so you can see that stopped flashing. But since it's never been installed, I can just unplug it, plug it back in, and now smart things will be searching for this. All right, so same deal with this one. That's fine, just tap on OK and tap on Save. So you can see it's right here. We can tap on that and we can obviously turn it on, turn it off. You can see that you have the power metering in watts here and energy consumption in kilowatts. Now we have one last one here and that will be the dimmer. 
And now all we need to do is plug this in. We're so just gonna tap on okay to this message. And this one is weird. It came in as a smart alert siren, but obviously this is not a smart alert siren. All right, now we're just going to save it and then tap done at the bottom. So we're gonna to have to fix this one. Is you want to go over to your smart things IDE. So I have a shortcut right here and you just want to log in with your Samsung account. All right, now once you are logged in, what you're going to want to do is tap on this, the top, the hamburger menu, tap on devices, and then we want to find this device in our list. All right, so it's Minostin Dimmer Plug. So we're gonna tap on that device on the left hand there. We're gonna tap on edit at the bottom. All right, now the type right here where it says smart alert siren, that's the problem. The type is wrong. So we're gonna tap on that and we just go all the way to the bottom. All of the custom stuff that you add is gonna be at the bottom of your list. Minostin plug dimmer, choose that. And then we're going to update our device. Now you can see at the top, our dimmer plug has been updated. So now if we go back over to smart things, it's gonna take a second to update here. All right, and now you can see it looks like a plug. That's a good sign. So we're gonna tap on that. All right, so let's look at the settings for this one here. So this one has a bunch of different settings. You have your LED mode, so let's tap on that. It says off when on is the default. So let's do on when on. And then auto turn off, you got auto turn on. You have night light setting. So here you can change um, the actual brightness of the light. Power failure recovery, this is the same. Push dimming duration. So here you can hold it down to dim. So, and then you have minimum and maximum brightness. So you have a ton of different options on this smart plug. All right, so now we have our dimmer plug um, installed and we have a lamp connected to it. Now this is set to 1% right now, of course. So if we change this up to say 100%, you can see that the lamp gets a lot brighter. Go down a little bit, maybe 40%, 11%, all the way down to one. So now you really have full control over your lamp. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can make it any type of dim. So that is a very powerful smart plug. All right, so now we have the Minostin Z-Wave metering smart plug installed. So you can see if we turn on the device, it's going to tell us exactly how much energy is being used right now. That's the power meter. And then your energy consumption will be tracked down at the bottom. Obviously this is such a small amount of energy. There's really not gonna be much showing here in kilowatts. As you can see, these are super fast. Um, they look actually really nice, you know, on the outlet itself. Overall, I'm really impressed with these smart plugs. And like I said in the beginning of the video, a smart plug is very versatile. It's very easy to use. Just plug it in, add it to smart things, and start using it. Move it somewhere else or connect another device, unplug it, plug it in over there, and you're good to go. Also, these are Z-Wave repeater devices. So when they're plugged in, they are going to strengthen your Z-Wave network, improve your smart home overall. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.